This is an interesting notion. Why on good Lord's earth would I send my love to visit Hartmut in Hamburg to talk about me, the man who was an eternal bachelor who only wanted to pick up women in a small, tiny little apartment. Very touristy. Yeah, very fashionable too. Why him? See, they all saw me since I was a child. Yeah, him and the other people. Because I trusted him. I earned his trust. Or he earned mine or something. Yeah, because he could have done like my mother did. Forbid me to, you know, and then turn it around and say, you never wanted to study the piano. But it was she who said, no way. Why would I not want to study the piano? Yeah, she turned it around. Because I asked her for studying the piano when I was 11, 12, 13, when we went over to that place. I told her I'd like to do this and that and this and that, so I know I need the piano for it. Can I please have piano lessons? Because finally we had a piano in the house with Karl Schmidt. And she said, no. She said uh, nothing and then she, t she yelled at me, you didn't wash the dishes yesterday. Das kannst du dir aus dem Kopf streichen. I don't even know how to say that in English. It sounds a little bit like fuck off, bitch. You think I'm stupid? I'm not gonna give you piano lessons on top of that you ruined my life of being born. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, that would be more accurate than the. Hartman could have turned it around and say something like, oh yeah, she was hating on me since she was seven <laughs> because I'm so cool and gorgeous. And well, I never gave in because, you know, I'm such a cool person. <laughs> Something like that. I don't know. He made me feel uncomfortable when I was 12 or so. Or 30, maybe other... Or, I don't know. Sometimes he made me feel uncomfortable a tiny bit in the beginning when we talked. But not com uncomfortable enough to not just stay and continue talking. So it changed. He turned into a father figure. Yeah, maybe that was the way he related, like dumb bitch did with her son. Harold Stangl, the German, married to the Peruvian, Peruvian Victoria, living in the fancy house in San Francisco. Once I came visit real shortly, her son, her oldest, she had two of them, was sitting next to her. Was he sitting on her lap or just next to her, swirling around each other? How old was she? He, nine, eleven, twelve? Is she twirling around him like a little bitch? flirting with him like she is a whore with her very own son said what the fuck that's the only way she could relate to men by offering sexual favors yeah remember Malena from Mexico or Yolanda horrible I think I turned that off altogether like maybe with Hartmut even Because I'm not a bitch, and he knew it too. He just he didn't know otherwise. He had to learn. Because otherwise, woman, was he hands up? Maybe not. Maybe yes. I don't know. Not to me, he wasn't. But then again, who gives a shit? I cannot describe him because it's a matter of taste. No, he wasn't ugly at all. And he had something which other men didn't had. Uh, maybe he was. He wasn't a Draufgänger, but maybe he was for Hamburg. They're talking and singing. Or, or he didn't sing, but he did a thing with... <laughs> wow, that's special. So he dares. Something like that. Yeah, he was like cool in a way. For a child. Maybe that's the only way he could handle people. And suddenly he learned to look and to listen to the field. And get things from a different perspective. And himself too. Yeah, otherwise maybe no one would actually look at him or listen to him when he was talking. So he had to pull out some attitude so a woman would actually look at him. But not with me. I was just a child. I looked at him anyway. So he gave me that labyrinth game. A 
and he shared his sacred Asterix and Obelix collection with me. Yeah, take take what you want, he said. I, I read it, I brought him back, I got a next stack. I don't know, maybe five in a row. <laughs> but he got it. And that's a good thing. 